Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial, which I have never done on my channel before, which I'm super excited about. I have already started it because I just got the idea to film this video now, but I'm going to show you all the products. Honestly, probably just explain more about me and who I am because I am back on the channel and I am a different person than who I was like six years ago. But if you don't know me, I was originally a we don't talk about it anymore. It was a time of my life. But we're gonna get more into that in the actual video. So without further ado, let's get started. That was giving 2016 so much. Like, I don't know why, but I just feel like everyone used to say that. Anyways, back to the actual video. I started out with this Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. This is honestly really good. I saw it at Target one day and I was like, I don't know, this seems interesting. But it's not like a foundation. It's more of just like a your skin but better look. And I live by that. Also, I use this NARS concealer, which has been my go-to for the past year and a half and it just always does me well. Obviously you need to prep your skin right when you're using this concealer because it can be drying for some people. For me, it honestly works super well and I really like that because I have redness and like acne scars to cover up. So these are definitely a game changer, not gonna lie. Anyways, next step I would say is powder because I just like doing concealer or foundation or skin tint or whatever and then setting it with a powder. I got this brush off of Shein. It's honestly super good. I really like it because it has a smaller end and this bigger end. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people hate on Shein, but like Shein is low-key good. Obviously, I'm not going to buy my whole entire wardrobe from Shein because not everything is good from Shein. But if you can buy some stuff from Shein and save a decent amount of money, why not do it? If you're a Shein hater, I understand. I know it's not ethical. But then again, most clothes that are manufactured today aren't ethical. Like Nikes, Adidas probably. All those companies, like... <laughs> They're not the best either, so I'm not really quite sure what y'all are doing, but anyways. Oh, by the way, sorry, I'm like going super fast. The powder I just used was this Kosa's Cloud Set Powder. It's literally my obsession. I've also been obsessed with this one for like a year. The last one I had of this, the whole thing shattered, so that was really great. It wasn't, but. Then for bronzer, I used the Laguna NARS bronzer, and it's so nice because it has like kind of a little bit of a shimmery finish. It's really nice, and it just goes on the face super well. Look at that. Look, it just transforms my face. Top three favorite makeup products would be bronzer, mascara, and concealer probably. Like those are products I probably could not live without. Also, I use this butter bronzer from Physicians Formula in the shade Deep Bronzer. That's the back of it, guys, if you can see. I'm such a YouTuber. Anyway, should we go back to why I started making videos on YouTube? I feel like we should. I have honestly always thought YouTube was so fun. Like, the first video I ever posted was a squishy package. <gasps> Which we're not going to talk about. We're not going to talk about that right now. If you want to watch the video, you can. If it's still on my channel. I think it's still on my channel. So if you want to watch that, you can. I have just had a journey with YouTube because I've just always loved it. Like, it's just always been something that has made me excited and happy about. And, like, even filming this video right now, it just makes me so happy because I like to do it. And, like, I want to show someone my life. If you don't care, that's fine. If you truly care, that makes me so happy. Because I care too. Like, I care that you care, you know? Also, the blush I just used was the NARS Behave, this color. I don't know. I feel like I want to get a different color of blush, you know? But it's pretty cute. It looks good. Anywho, I just think it's fun. I love editing videos. I love, like, taking pictures. I feel like I'm a more creative person. Like, I'm always thinking outside the box. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like I see the world differently than other people. No, I'm just kidding. I just think for my age, I think about things in like a different way, I guess you could say. For example, a situation, let's say I'm going through a situation with somebody and I don't know how to go about it or I'm like asking for advice from my friends. I've already thought about that scenario. I'm a person that thinks about everything, like every possible way something could go down, you know? So really bad job of what I was actually trying to say. I think about certain situations really deeply because I want to handle it in the best possible way. So when I go to my friends and seek advice about it, I 
already know what they're gonna say because they want the best for me and I know that but sometimes I can be a little delusional but in the back of my mind I'm not delusional and I know what the situation is and I will look at it from the perspective it should be looked at from even though I don't want to accept it I have to because it's inevitable and I always know <laughs> my brain is always right I won't admit it I'll never admit it that it's in the back of my head but I will always have to accept the situation because you can't control everything. Giving people the benefit of the doubt all the time will never work in your favor because they're gonna keep trying to show their true colors to you. And if you don't accept that, then you're just gonna keep getting treated horribly or badly. So if I have any advice to give you, I would just say to look at situations realistically and think if that person is actually good for you or whatever it is, honestly. Never put someone else's emotions before yours and truly stand up for yourself if you need to, at times. Okay, bye. Sometimes it can be hard for me because I am an emotional person, I guess you could say. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I would want them to see things the way that I see them, when in reality, it's not like that 90% of the time. So it can be hard for me to like open up to people and completely be vulnerable. But I love social media because I feel like I'm talking to myself kind of, like not talking to myself, but I'm just like, being who I am, like with my friends, you know? Like you're really experiencing the real me, you know? I don't even know what I was just talking about for the last 10 minutes. Moral of the story, my dream job would be to be doing something with social media just because I think it's so cool. Everything about it, I just love seeing like, like one comment on my video. One comment can make me happy for like three weeks. It just shows that you like my content or you like what I'm creating. I'm doing something right, you know? In my opinion, I think TikTok has created an outlet for so many different types of people which i think is great but at the same time i don't like tiktok as much as youtube because on tiktok it's smaller videos and it's hard to actually yap you know because i just be yapping bro about everything i just use the becca highlighter in shade moonstone this is my favorite highlighter ever that's a powder it's literally so pretty like Okay, next I am going to do my eyebrows with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Oh, let's jump into something different that I wanna talk about. I just finished up my first semester of college because I was a spring semester enrollment person. So it was very interesting. I feel like I did learn a lot about the world and people. <laughs> and just life in general honestly because crazy stuff happens me personally i didn't really have an expectation going into college obviously like i heard stuff about it because my sister just graduated college last year i heard her college stories for me i was ready to go into it and like expecting certain things the culture and the partying and stuff but i feel like once you're actually in it you don't realize what it truly is until you're there, you know? You know, life was kind of crazy, but it was fun. I think college is super fun. You need to have a balanced schedule. Like that's the number one tip I'd give to like incoming freshmen. Really be on track of your classes and what you need to be doing because if you're not, you're gonna fall behind super fast. Like, I didn't because I'm used to like a heavier workload. My high school was college prep, which sounds like really try hard. So I was kind of expecting the workload to be like a little bit harder than what I had in high school. I would say college was a bit easier than high school for me. I know a lot of people don't feel that way and they say that college is so hard and that they weren't prepared enough in high school, but that honestly just depends on what high school you went to. Make sure that you're on top of all the work that you need to do because you are paying for those classes. Like a lot of people don't realize college is about getting your education and then socializing and making all your friends and stuff. So my number one tip would be to just like stay on top of your work and then figure out all of your plans for the weekends and stuff like that, you know? I would also say don't expect to find the love of your life your freshman year of college and don't let guys play you. Don't let it happen. Be 20 steps ahead of them because these guys, they know how to get in your head and play with your emotions and we think that they're gonna love us, but in reality, they're just partying and having fun. Another tip for guys, like if you met him, 
at the club or at a party do not think that he is gonna be your boyfriend like anytime soon from experience i am telling you that is not your man that will never be your man and if it is your man it might be your man in seven years like not in college that's for sure a lot of men and women are very immature in college so this goes for both genders if you're a guy watching this video i wouldn't trust a girl that you met at the club or a party either so it can be hard for the girlies that want to be in an actual relationship because i would love to be in a relationship right now like truly and honestly a relationship would be so great but at the end of the day it's not worth me being in a relationship where i'm not getting what i need from it and the emotional sides of it and just everything like i would rather be single and by myself than with someone that does not care about me so yeah <laughs> i would just say be your yourself going into college truly figure out who you are like my roommate she didn't even know who she really was what her style was she never experimented with makeup and then she did all that when she went to college and she said she really grew into herself and like that's what i mean by that really just be yourself don't worry about what other people are thinking about you or if they're talking about you because college is not like that i'm telling you right now if it's like that for you in high school it's not going to be like that for you in college i'm sorry i'm trying to find my mascara everyone's doing their own thing and just working on themselves and focusing on themselves that they don't really have time to talk about other people and if they do then don't be friends with them and like don't pay attention to what they're saying because one thing I've learned is that there's always gonna be haters like there's always gonna be someone commenting on what you're doing or oh you're doing that wrong or I don't agree with that or whatever it is and at the end of the day that's their opinion I don't know what's good for me that's my opinion you can believe what you want to believe that's okay but i believe what i want to believe and if you think i'm ugly and you're a hater like that's fine i think i'm a baddie though so it's like i don't really care so you know what i mean do what makes you happy and if someone's not making you happy drop them it's a simple drop in the bucket it does not have to be that deep and i know in high school it's hard because you're seeing them all the time and you're like oh. you do not have to put up with the fakeness or all that stuff when you're in college. I'm also considering rushing a sorority because I am a business major and I just feel like it would be really good for me to make connections with people. Oh my God, guys, look at my lashes. Going in with this mascara that I literally just got yesterday. I'm so excited to use it. Ah! What was I saying? But if you're in high school and you're struggling with people being a hater or like, people being mean to you or someone not liking you whatever it is just ignore them act like they don't exist don't let them take up space in your brain because at the end of the day they're not worth it why would you waste your time and energy thinking about a hater you need to start thinking about you and why you love yourself and look in the mirror and be like oh yeah they're just hating because they're jealous and 99 percent of the time it is because they're jealous you might not feel like that person is jealous of you and they're just hating on you but i'm telling you there is nothing wrong with you especially if you never did anything to them if they're just randomly hating on you or making fun of you or like are purposely making you want to feel bad about yourself just know that that's on them and they have a problem within themselves and it's not you and you shouldn't change anything about yourself if one person doesn't like something about you you know i'll forever be preaching that because letting someone else dictate how you feel about yourself is not how you need to go about being a girl in high school it's just so hard i know guys are like oh i don't care what other people think but with girls words can really hurt and i'm just here to tell you that you should never let someone make you feel bad about yourself and the only person's opinion that matters is your opinion about yourself it can even be your parents like let's say your parents have expectations for you and you're not living up to them make sure that you're doing things for yourself you're not letting their opinion of you dictate how you view yourself even with college applications i know a lot of people are like oh i didn't get into this school so that just means i'm stupid which is not true at all just because you don't get into a college it doesn't mean you're not going to be successful in life i literally hate that you can be successful without a college degree too if that like didn't cross anyone's mind when you're in this environment 
of where it's like, oh, we gotta get into the best schools in the entire state. It can mess with your head sometimes. Even me, I didn't go to a top school in Florida. I am so happy there. And I just want you to remember that if you had a top dream school in mind and you don't get in, know that it's nothing to do with you and that it was redirection. Rejection is redirection. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's not true. That would have been my perfect match. I would have been so happy there. But like, how would you know that? You know what I mean? You got rejected for a reason. Guys, my lashes look so long right now. This mascara might be it. Guys, this makeup is kind of insane. Oh my gosh. Chat. 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 I'm having a good makeup day. Oh my god, no, my camera's gonna die. <gasps> Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed my makeup tutorial. I kind of yapped for a really long time and I hope some of that made sense. If it didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe just never watch one of my videos again. But if you enjoyed and you wanna see more videos like this or if you wanna actually ask me questions, I would really appreciate that. All my social medias are linked down below and you should definitely subscribe to my channel because I want to hit a thousand subscribers because I feel like that would be a very big milestone for me. Okay, guys, I love you. Be you. Love yourself. Bye.